The uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Both these defensive coordinators have got to be going crazy right now. We've had four straight possessions in which these offenses have put points on the board. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Now he's scrambling. He's in trouble. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Scrambling around. The ball is loose. And they fall on the loose ball. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Let's go! Wide 80! Wide 80! Now he tries to buy some time. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down around the 47-yard line. That's a game of 16 on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. He scrambled, tries to get around the corner, and he's taken down right around the 40. He picks up a good seven yards there on the quarterback keeper. That'll bring up fourth and one. Florida State's going to take their first time out of the half. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Carries the balls for a nice game. From the 36-yard line, first down. The Seminole saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he pulls it down. He's tackled at the 25. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. second touchdown of the day. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. North Carolina has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen with his teammates, the rest of this group. They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. From their own 28-yard line, second down. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. Our score is 21-14 FSU. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Dueling virtuoso performances by both offensive coordinators. I usually like to give the helmet sticker on college football finals. Okay. Players. Yeah. Players. The players. You breaking the rule here? I might. I mean, sensational play calling by both of these guys with the headsets up in the booth. I'm sure they'll be so honored to win one of your stickers. They I mean, should be. They might even wear it on their visor next week on the sideline, but it would inspire them. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty nice to be dialing up everything and uh it's pretty nice to be in the rhythm and the flow and everything seems to be working perfectly. And I imagine this is how offensive coordinators go from offensive coordinators to head coaches because they put everything together at the perfect moment at the perfect time and you go, okay, that can't be stopped. And right now, that's what it looks like. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Around the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Set, set, line 80. Tiger, one, three, two, three. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. He gets another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Back to him and he gets nothing this time around. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40. The reception. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and six. Hey, watch number five. Number five. Watch number five. Green, 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 Caught. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Number 16 is coming. Check Mike. Check Mike. Here we go. Green 95. Green 95. He's under pressure. And he's going to be sacked. That's a loss of four yards on the play. 
That makes it second and 14. And this play is number eight on the drive. He zips it out to the left. That close to being intercepted. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. North Carolina is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 34. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Florida State is up by four. Decent run here, right side. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. They're packed in tight on the line. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. the stop at about the 41. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. i got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just pump this ball away. Dives for extra yardage. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Florida State is up four. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 16-yard line. Got the corner. Good outside run there. Wilson picks up about four yards on the play. That brings up second and five. Hand of the third, and we've got a tight one. The Seminoles lead it by four. 
Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Mike nine. Mike nine. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Set. Red 18. Red 18. Backfield. The defense was all over that draw play. They got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's on the run. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of.